के अंदर सुरंग इस पर पहले भी आपने कई बार खबरें देखी और सुनी होंगी लेकिन समंदर के अंदर आखिर सुरंग बनाई कैसे जाती है वो कौन सी हैवी मशीन हैं जो पानी के अंदर रास्ता तैयार कर देती हैं सुरंग को तैयार कैसे किया जाता है समंदर का पानी इस वक्त कहाँ जाता है बड़ी बड़ी चट्टानों का सीना शीर कर कैसे पानी के बीच में कॉन्क्रीट का सुरंग तैयार किया जाता है कैसे रास्ता बनता है रिस्क कितना है आज आप पहली बार देखेंगे महसूस करेंगे मुंबई से आई न्यूज नेशन की सुपर एपिसेंटर ऑफ कॉमर्स टूडे वी आर इमर्जिंग न्यू एज इंडिया टर्न सेवेंटी फाइव लेट सेलिब्रेट द मोस्ट यूनिक स्टोरीज ऑफ बिग ड्रीम बिग टेक एंड बोल्ड माइंड coming together to build the most unique modern marvels of engineering to build the unique backbone of a brand new india let's go discover what it takes to build india think faster movement of goods and people this is putting pressure on their infrastructure every day an ambitious program of urban expressways to decongest cities and drive them to the fast lane of development is underway Namaste. in the making a futuristic freeway that's transforming mumbai's coastline in ncr india's first elevated expressway a brand new trade corridor to decongest and depollute delhi and the expressway to a better bundelkhand built at breakneck speed Mumbai the city that never sleeps neither do its roads India's biggest baddest machinery is building the solution to get the city moving faster the Mumbai coastal road mega city Mumbai 310 billion dollars of gdp 21 million people India's economic powerhouse is also the fifth most congested city in the world locked in by the sea there's no way for mumbai to expand the built up area in the mumbai metropolitan region increased by uh, 4.5 times it takes 3 4 hours to uh, get from the suburb to south mumbai coastal road will uh, is tension on the traffic and get read of these traffic jams we will have to focus on the efficient utilization and conservation of land uh, correctly mentioned the coastal road is the definite solution on traffic problem related to south mumbai the 29.8 km 8 lane freeway will connect north to south mumbai along the coastline cutting travel time by 70% and saving almost a 100 million dollars in fuel a year to expand landlocked mumbai the project is creating brand new land more than 111 hectares of land are being reclaimed that is being built up from the seabed to join mumbai's coastline that adds up to around 270 football fields Mumbai has a very limited road network compared to other parts of the cities which can grow from all sides. We have only 2050 kilometers road and there are a lot of issues in expanding this road network at great because of the densely populated city Mumbai is. So we have to find out some such spaces which are additionally available to the city and which add to the existing uh, road network. And Mumbai Coastal Road project actually complements the existing road network in such a way that it creates additional space for the city we believe that the mumbai coastal road will set a new standard for coastal infrastructure and how it impacts lives much more scenic uh, design and you know certainly for for commuters as well this is also the first time since independence we've had a major reclamation 111 hectares of which over 70% is planned for green and public spaces which is wonderful and the city actually gets a new promenade which is actually larger than our iconic main drag that new mumbai the hindustan construction company limited screens and crushers find the rock that will lay the base for the mumbai coastal road project
10 million tons of rock from these quarries will be needed to expand the city's coastline. Basically, we are constructing a seawall and the seawall consists of core layer and armor layer material. The armor layer are bigger material which consists of 2 ton to 4 ton, which are specifically designed to absorb such kind of heavy wave attack. And the design of the seawall has been considering 100 years of uh, uh, cyclone or any kind of natural calamities, whatever can happen. Further down the Mumbai Coastal Road project, the engineer crew is building 12 meter wide twin tunnels joining Priyadarshini Park and Chaupati through the Malabar Hills. India's very first undersea road tunnel. To navigate the coast's unpredictable soil and rock, the team deploys this monster machine. India's largest tunnel boring machine. The engineers nicknamed her Bhavra after Maratha legend Shivaji's brave warriors. Right now we are running the cutterhead with 1.5 RPM and we have 12 motors to run this cutterhead and we have 24 double jacks to push the machine while uh, rotating the cutterhead. We are getting a thrust force around 30,000 and the speed we are getting is 30 mm per minute. With the first tunnel's record breakthrough complete, this monster 80 meter long machine is halfway down the second. The Mumbai Coastal Road makes the most of the land. An ambitious multi-story design that's going to be supported by monopile technology. 704 traditional pillars would have been needed to support this 2,100 meter by 34 meter bridge. Monopile tech means the crew has brought this number down to just 176. We work with reverse circulation drilling, which is basically we pump air through air lines to the bottom, creates a vacuum, and the drilling cuttings come up through the centre of the drill pipe and goes into a skip at the side through a discharge hose. Used for the first time in Indian infra construction history, Monopile Tech is saving more than $1.5 million while shaving three months of the build time. Once complete, the Mumbai Coastal Road will slash travel time for Mumbaikers by 70%, fuel consumption by 34% and cut Mumbai's carbon emissions by more than 1,800 million tonnes annually. The Mumbai Coastal Road is almost ready to revolutionize the way Mumbai looks.